Thank you for joining us on YouTube. We are painting a Hawaiian butterfly today, a red, black and white butterfly on 140 pound cold press that is a card size five by seven that's taped. So this is a sample painting that I did. Here's the drawing. This one I did freehand and I, didn't, I drew it freehand and put PDO on the white spots and painted the background and painted the butterfly. That's what it's gonna look like when we're done. And this one I traced this picture here. I traced it with non-water soluble graphite paper so that the lines would stay there. And then I put PDO on the white spots and that's been drying, so that's good. And I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna use my pencil brush and I'm going to wet everything but the butterfly. Just gonna wet around the butterfly. I've got a little bit of, looks like brown paint in my brush. Because I've traced, this will be a little bit more, I don't know, exact, detailed, or tight. You could use the word tight. Then the last one that I did. Sometimes I do more than one try at these things, and one will be really loose, and one will be a lot looser, tighter different whatever, just try different things to see how it looks best or they all look different. Okay, there's everything is wet with dirty water. I'm gonna start with phthalo yellow green. And I'm just gonna put that on. There's, it's, this is on some sort of leaf. That's this light green. <laughs> mainly light green. So I'm gonna start with phthalo yellow green. Quite the color. Right in here. And the wings are separate. That can be sloppy over the, the part of the butterfly that's going to be black because the black ink, the black uh, paint will cover that up. I'm going to rinse out my brush and dry it and just sort of lift. There's some highlights on this leaf. So I dip my, my brush in the water and dry with this the Kleenex or paper towel. And I'm just gonna kind of lift that paint up a little bit so that it looks like the highlights coming on this leaf. That's the phthalo. Later on, I'll put the shadow of the wing. I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of Hansa yellow medium, mix it into my phthalo yellow green, just a tiny bit. And it looks like there's, coming out of here is the vein of the leaf that's yellow. Put that there. And then because even though it's not in this picture, but if I have a yellow coming out of that part of the butterfly, 
I need to continue that on the other side. And then it can disappear. Because right now I have it going straight to the corner. So I don't really want to make that a huge. I don't want to make that yellow line so bright that it just draws your eye out. But I do want to make it so that we know that that goes behind the butterfly. Now I'm going to make some dark green and put it. You know what? I need to do this corner too with the phthalo to get back. Okay, I'm going to put the phthalo there. And then I'm going to put some dark greens in this, this little area here. Okay, so I'm going to make my favorite dark green, which is burnt sienna and amber blue. It's kind of brownish, so I add more Antwerp. There's that green I love. And I'm just going to, this is still wet and the paint's wet, so it's probably going to smear a little bit. To blend into the phthalo yellow green that's already there. I'm going around that edge, although I don't have to be too careful because like I said, that part's going to be black. And then I want to take this color down, down here at the very bottom is kind of is a brown something and you know it doesn't really make that much sense, but it, it would make more sense I think if it were darker green. So I'm just going to turn this little corner into darker green too, rather than a brown. And I'm going to rinse my brush out a little bit. So that I have more water or less pigment really. And then I want to dry it in my, my paper towel. And I want to do some little scratchies. So what I've done is I've gotten very dilute paint and then dried it with my paper towel so that my brush doesn't have a ton of water in it compared to this painting, what's on there already. And I'm just sort of using the side of my brush. I call this the belly of my brush. And I'm just kind of scraping it, you know. So if I have these little scrapes on this side, I need them over on this side of the butterfly. It's trying to make it look like there's some texture on that leaf. And now I'm going to dry it before I paint the red butterfly. I just dried this with the blow dryer. And now what I'm going to do, I said I was going to paint the butterfly, but before I do that, I'm going to paint the shadow of the, of the wing on the leaf. And really that's just the same dark color that I made, this dark green. So it's just this uh, shape. Just a little shadow right here. This is a cast shadow. So the, we're assuming that the sun is coming from above and the left. And it's causing this shadow on the leaf. And there's just a tiny little shadow right on the edge of this wing. Might have made mine a little thicker because I pushed down too hard. And 
One thing about this little shadow right here next that the wing is casting on the leaf is that right next to the butterfly, the shadow is actually just a tiny bit darker than the outside of that shadow. And that's because the light from the leaf is actually reflecting onto the shadow a little bit. So the outer, the, the outer part of the shadow is just the tiniest bit lighter than the shadow right next to the butterfly. And really the same thing here. Oh, it makes it pop up like it's flying. Now, the thing I'm going to do now is paint this bright red part of this butterfly. And I can really paint the whole thing and then just dull down the inside. But the picture of this is much, much brighter than this print off my computer. So I'm going to really try to make this the brightest orange I can muster. The brightest red, orangish red. So that's permanent rose there. And I'm going to add and the yellow medium to it and see if I can't just get a really super bright red. Let me try this. See how that is. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I like it. On the white paper, it really, just want that to be just, I don't know. We I don't think there's a, a paint that is that bright a red as this butterfly is on the picture. Somehow the pixels on the computer. And I can go over, like I said, I can go over this whole part in here. And the black spots because it's the black will cover. And then we'll just put some browns over the body and the kind of boring part of the wing, red wing, the little head. That's going to be a black spot. I just want this to be as bright a red as I can get it. I could some kind of oh, could use a red, but I have found that the brightest red is really permanent rose and hand the yellow medium. Seems kind of weird that those make a brighter red than any red that you can buy, but I have found that. Just going over this whole part in here. That's red. I like it. I'm going to dry that red and add brown and black. So I've dried it. It does lighten a little bit when it dries. That's watercolor for you. And I'm going to take burnt sienna now and add burnt sienna over the body and the head. It's almost like a moth. The way the body looks kind of fuzzy and that's just the body with burnt sienna. And I'm going to add a little bit of either French ultramarine blue or Payne's gray into that burnt sienna. 
matting French ultramarine blue, and it makes a darker brown. And while the body is still wet from the burnt sienna on it, I'm going to add a little bit of dark brown to the right side of the body. And I'm going to put a little bit across the head. I'm going to draw those two little, you know, I honestly don't know what they are, but they look like two teeth, two brown teeth. They're not the antenna, they're these teeth. I don't know what they are, but they're these little spiky things coming out of the head. I want to try to make the body look fluffy and shadowy. And round by darkening the side, the right side, and keeping the left side kind of light and make it look like it has a, a form, like it's round. And then there's this part of the butterfly before that bright red part that is kind of orange uh, brownie. I just mixed a little bit of a color called quinacridone burnt scarlet into my original red that I made with permanent rose and yellow. What I'm gonna, and if you don't have that, just add a little bit of burnt sienna. And now I'm going to paint next to the body. And out most of the way. There's some black lines that change. brightest part is stays on the edge of the wing or where it hits the black part. So this I'm trying to just sort of dull this bright red down. I'm going to add a little bit Burnt, uh, burnt sienna to that. So it didn't quite get it dull enough for kind of the brownie color that it is. It's almost exactly the same color as the body. This color from the body out to the bright red. my phone and I dried it. Now I'm going to paint all the black. And the black that I'm going to use is called Payne's Gray. If you don't have Payne's Gray, you can make black with French ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. So I'm just going to paint my black part of the wings now. This makes me want to go to Hawaii. and see this butterfly myself. <laughs> Aubrey was telling, telling me that the, they have monarch butterflies in Hawaii. And uh, I said, well, where do they migrate? She said, they don't need to migrate. It's warm and sunny all year round, every day. <laughs> so I looked it up and 
They don't need to migrate. It's warm and sunny all year round, every day. And monarchs uh, are a pest because somebody brought over some milkweed with some monarchs eggs on it and now they have monarch butterflies. Has anybody seen one of these red ones? I haven't. Has anybody? I saw, I saw them in Hawaii when I was there. Oh, I can't wait to see them. They're called the Kamehameha. You are right. But since I don't know how to say that, I just called it Hawaiian butterfly. Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Probably a little bit boring to watch me paint this. I'll pause the video. So I finished up with the, the all the black part and the spots. I tried to make a nice skinny antenna, but I got a fat one instead. And I've dried it with the blow dryer. So now I'm using my pickup. This thing's called a pickup. And it's going to take off the PDO. With any luck at all, I'm going to have these beautiful white spots. If the paint is wet at all, I'll smear my white spots. But there's always white paint, not the end of the world. Here, come on, come right up. I have to talk to it like it's a lob. Stay in, stay white. And I put some little white speckles along the edge of that wing. And maybe this one too. Hopefully I, this is all dry. Maybe there's a piece of white up here. Oh, there was. I see it now. I missed it when I... <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because I did PBO the top of my antenna with a little bit of white Actually, it kind of is okay. So there we have it. And I'll take the tape off. Now, I don't know which one I like better. The one I just freehand and was loose and didn't worry about or this one that I traced and tried to be perfect. I think they kind of capture the feel of the butterfly either way. I didn't sign this one, but I could sign it with a pen. There it is. I like the bright color better. Even though it's not quite bright enough. I don't know if there's a red that's any watercolor red. I added some Scarlet Lake to my, um, the two colors, the, and how did it, and how did the rose and the, and the yellow, and I added some Scarlet Lake, and I think it came out really well. Let me see. Oh, that's a beautiful red. Yeah. Oh, and I love your uh, splotches on your leaf, and your shadow is really good. It really makes it look like it's just above the leaf. That's beautiful painting, Penny. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that little bit of shadow makes just such a huge difference in making the, the butterfly just look like it's right above the leaf. Can you put it up against once more, Dee? Beautiful. Nice. Your colors are beautiful. I love your spots. You did a really good job on the spots, the little white spots. Yeah. The PBO. PBO worked, yeah, worked well. It's got a, the shape is a little funny. I don't know what happened to my shape. Well, I think it, I mean, it's beautiful. It looks like a Kamehameha butterfly, for <laughs> Kamehameha. sure. Kamehameha. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Kamehameha. <laughs> I'll work at. And I did the background last night because I know I couldn't keep up with you guys today. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Oh. Beautiful. Mm. That's a different butterfly or the same? It's the same butterfly, but a different picture. It's a picture that I had. It's got more white white dots around the bottom. Yeah, it's yeah. very pretty. I had. Thank you for joining us on YouTube for painting another butterfly. <laughs>